Okay, Don, I found the problem. See that? See those two runs coming in there? Let's see if I can get something to point with. These two runs right here. This one and this one. Look right in between them. Right there. See that? That's just like a little spur, a little hair of solder right there. That's what's causing your problem. Okay. I hope. I think it is anyway. I'm getting ready to take that, take my soldering iron and clean that out of there. And uh, we'll see what it does then. Okay. Okay. That appears to have taken care of it. I've had it on now for quite a while and we're still at 8.6 volts. So that's what it was, just a little hairline string of solder in there. You can see I redid these, cleaned them up, and uh, re-soldered them. So those little spurs that went in between there are gone. It's quite a few things done to this radio that, uh, that I think are bad. The first and foremost is this thing. He's jumpered the uh, voltage right out of your power supplies direct to the finals. Okay, it, that's, that's a bad idea. It probably did it to get more power out of AM or because he incorrectly installed the second uh, RF final. Okay, the final is in there. All right, but... The supporting components for the final are not there. There should be a, another variable resistor there, another resistor, a couple more resistors, a diode, a capacitor. The feed capacitor is not even there. Uh, this one feeds the RF from the driver to this final. There should be one right behind it that feeds the RF to this final. Okay, and there's nothing. Uh, there's no uh, five volt zener diode underneath it, and it's missing the jumper. Uh, actually, no, it's not missing the jumper. The jumper's there. But, uh, you know, quite a few support components. There's another resistor that goes back here. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it's in there, and they got the heat sink on it, but it ain't doing anything. Uh, and I think that's that's probably why they jumped the uh, voltage direct to the other one. So when you key your radio, uh, your normal final and your driver are running wide open. There's no regulation on those at all. Okay, uh, I wanted to show you that. Now, for your frequencies... Let's see, what is it? That's lower AM upper side. Your counter is just a tiny little bit off. I couldn't quite bring it in all the way, uh, but it's it's real close. Just remember when it shows a one on the end there, it's actually on frequency, I think. Hang on just a minute. Let me make sure that that's right. I want to go back to AM. No, actually your counter is dead on. 405.1 now I'll adjust that out but it's warmed up it's been been running for about an hour and so it's drifted uh, 100 kcs or not kcs 100 Hertz so I'll go in and take that out it's you know uh, a lot of little things I don't like like this capacitor, it's added capacitor, which is a good idea. Okay, he, he added that capacitor for the voltage regulator, but you don't need it because he also installed a 4700 microfarad cap right there. The only thing this is doing is running that uh, wire that goes direct to your voltage regulator 
across to act like an antenna. So it's going to pick up RL from the output section and feed it back into your voltage regulator. This is bad. Bad idea. I, I'd, I'd take that out if it was me. Uh, and I'd take it back over there and make them put the rest of the damn components in for that second final because like I said right now, it ain't doing shit. It's just sitting there. Uh, the 4700 microfarad over here is way too big. You got components mashed down that's sitting on top of components. It's just not bad. And, uh, you know, the clarifier is still locked. Uh, you can push this button in and move transmit and receive together. Okay, by pushing that button in. But you can't slide very far. So it still acts like a fine tuned clarifier. And you can see they're not together. Now, I tried to adjust this one just, just in receive, which is your actual frequency, okay? When you push this in, there's resistors in this circuit that switch it over and make the LED light. They affect the frequency, okay? So that's, with it out, that's your actual frequency. But when you key the microphone, it goes off of the uh, transmit adjustment that's inside the radio so transmit and receive are still locked together with this button out okay all right let me go back in and do an alignment real quick be right back okay went in and touched up the alignment it's am up lower side band upper side band okay now the way the uh lc35128 works Nine position is low. I think your other board worked like that too. And 19 is high. Okay. Now look at that son of a bitch. It, it has changed again just by me switching frequencies. Let me check the voltage. Hang on. We can do this together. Yeah. Yeah, it went up 0.1 volt. But that ain't gonna hurt anything. Okay, and you can also come over here and measure it because that damn wire runs all the way over there. Um, you know, that, that needs to come out as far as I'm concerned. Let me touch it up again. We're on AM. Just barely had to touch it. Okay, uh, and for your 10kc jump, I'll put that on your PA switch. Press that in, and jumps up 10kc's. Okay, I don't like drilling holes in the back of radios. Some, you know, a lot of guys want me to do that, but it's, it's just as easy for me to put it on the PA switch. It's not easy, but I, I already know how to do it. Okay, I've done it a lot. So, all right. Came back. That's about where you had it, I think, right there. Yeah. 
somewhere in that area you can readjust it but uh, I, I would take it back and have them you know they probably charge you to put that second final in there but they didn't put all the support components in it uh, and I would take that out and definitely get rid of that damn 13 volt jumper that's going direct to the files that needs to come out that's just that's going to eat your finals okay all righty you know what i'm going to check your bias real quick let me put a keying module in there See what the bias voltage is. Three point six. God damn, that's four point five. Yeah. I, I gotta adjust that. I'm sorry, but I'm I can't leave it like that. Oh. I gotta set the camera down. Okay, gosh, I set it back down to four volts. It was at four and a half volts. That's way too high. So I moved it back down to four. Even that's a little high. And this one's at 3.7, so that's good. All right. Oh. It goes up 10 kcs when you push the PA thing in, PA switch. All right. Okay, Don, I think that's about it. Let me get this video done up so I can send it to you. All right, there's your LC35-128 right there. Oh, uh, been set up, adjusted. Everything works perfectly, okay? All right, 